Welcome to Summer School Session 2 of Intermediate Algebra with a KPAP Income Theme. In Intermediate Algebra with a KPAP Income Theme, you have Unit 0, which is your welcome information, and a video on how much does a KPAP artist make. In Unit 1, you're going to review graphing points and about lines. Graphing lines by plotting points, intercept method, and slope intercept method is the new material. Unit 2, solving systems of equations. And then there is a completion unit with a survey in it that we want you to take. Earning your two credits, your grade shown on Schoology, will be a cumulative grade. That means that, say, you do a video and a practice and you uh, do the mastery check and you get 20% on it. That doesn't mean that 20% is your grade. It means that, like, 1% is your grade because it's only a piece of what you still need to do. So you may see some missing assignments in, in your gradebook on Schoology that tells you that you have not yet done this work. And you need to earn 60% as a cumulative grade, then you are done with this course. Your grade will be a P and you get two quarter credits. You must earn a cumulative score of 60% by August 16th. There is a personal self-pacing guide to help you know what you have completed and what you still need to do. There are suggested deadlines to keep you on track towards completion. The personal self-pacing guide is a personal progress tracker for summer school session 2. This runs from July 24th to August 16th. Intermediate Algebra K-pop Income and Linear Equation Graphs is the topic. So an avocado means mild, and that means that those are required activities. So they basically are your math activities. Two peppers means medium. Now, Sometimes you'll earn credit for doing the two preppers, and sometimes you won't, okay? So it's something that you can skip, and it's not going to be part of your 60% grade, but it's on there to better prepare you for what comes next, so what is part of your grade. So it's kind of more information and relationships with K-pop and math. The spicy, sometimes it's not recorded as part of your grade, but the times that it is recorded as part of your grade, it is worth a lot more points for fewer problems to do because they're a lot more relationship thinking but towards the correlation between algebra and K-pop. So you don't have to do them, but it's a faster way to get to your 60% score. When you have completed an item, no one's going to check this. This is all for your personal benefit so you know where you left off and what you still need to do. You can use the pull-down menu and change the music to money. Okay. You are at this point right now, you're watching this welcome video about the class. So when you are done, you would change this music to money. So you don't know that you completed that. Okay, a typical part is checkpoint number two, the correlation between linear equations about money and K-pop. It says spicy, but these are not being graded. There's no questions with it. It's just getting you to the answer of why are we learning this math? What does it have to do with K-pop? So there are two short videos on the relationship of the math and the K-pop or their income. 
this next section, checkpoint number three, is a review. In Summer Session 1, if you were in Summer Session 1 in this class, you talked about plotting points and lines, vertical, horizontal, and oblique lines. Now, some of that information you need to continue because you're going to be graphing lines. So you need to know how to plot a point. You need to know about the lines. So this is a review. You can earn credit, but you don't necessarily have to do it to earn your credit. Okay, It just makes it easier in the subject matter that follows. Especially you don't have to do it if you were in summer session one. Checkpoint number five, these are all avocados, and this is typical. So the lesson is on graphing lines by plotting three points. We didn't do this before in summer session one. Therefore, it's not peppers, it's avocados. It's required. This is how you earn majority of your points, is by learning the math because that's what you're awarded the two credits for. So when you click on the, the lesson, you have three sections to the lesson. You watch a video, you'll be answering some questions, some checking for understanding questions on the video. Then you have a practice, so you're going to go over some problems that were in the video. And then you have a little bit um, more points, but fewer problems to do in the mastery check to make sure that you understand this. So this is worth a lot more credit. You probably won't be coming back to this to click on this until you have finished it. Then you can click on all three. Or if you stop in the middle, you can click on one or two of them. We're wishing you the best in completing your credits.